Welcome to Lingolstown TV. This is Bill Bostic, your host, kicking off coverage of the Lingolstown Twilight Baseball Team, the defending champions of the East Shore Twilight League. Tonight in the opener here at Coons Park, uh, Lingolstown dropped the game 2-1 to one to Lawton, and uh, they... Lawton put together a two-run sixth inning off of two hits and an error, error. and uh, Lingolstown tried to come back in the last inning, the seventh inning, get three hits, one run, and just couldn't push that second run over to tie the game. So tonight, just want to bring on uh, the coach of uh, Lingolstown, Steve Economopoulos. Steve, come on. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Steve Economopoulos, also known as Econ. That's right. And um, uh, Steve, what what was your uh, what's your view on the game tonight? A close game, uh, a chance to come back in the seventh just fell short. Yeah, we came out here the first night and uh, bats were kind of sleeping for both teams, and uh, we were kind of putting the ball in play, but they were making some really good plays. So it came down to you know which team made the first mistake first, and that happened to be us tonight. Got down two runs and try to pull something out in the seventh and uh, just came up a little bit short. But what you expect for a first game, not, not too many runs. Right now you're coming off a championship season and uh, I know that uh, your, your preseason you had some wins and had some uh, good play. So what are you looking forward to uh, as the uh, season gets off to a start here? Well, it's, it's always good to get your guys in a few games here early on. And when you start getting into June and especially July to uh, really start to roll. And, uh, you know, that's the key. It's, you know, similar to last year when we can get some bats going and guys are clicking and playing well together, that's going to be the key. So these are only games you always want to win, but uh, you try to walk away with something positive. And I think that's the fact that, you know, we got out, the weather was bad, but we got some hits and, you know, we had a lot of people out at the game. So that was nice to see. I think we're going to have a, a good summer and you know, reach our goals, hopefully, to make the playoffs. So. And lastly, I know uh, you and you and the other people on the team are uh, trying to get some fans out. What, what are you doing differently this year to try and create some excitement around Lingolstown Twilight? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, you know, baseball at this level uh, can be very exciting. Uh, you have a lot of college, young college players that are home for the summer and um, are playing, you know, up at college and doing well. So it's, it's fun to come out and spend a night and there's no admission charge. But right. in the past, uh, we haven't done things like we did tonight. We have some announcing and we have a game guide so people can come out and know who the players are and know something about them personally. And I think the biggest thing is had you help us. <laughs> sure. You know, people looking at the Gazette and uh, just keeping up with how we're doing. And I think it's good for the community of Lingolstown to try to maybe support a team that has some good ball players. You know, we have some giveaways and some local sponsors. And hopefully it'll continue to pick up throughout the summer. Well, thanks for stopping by, Steve. And uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it, Bill. And we have uh, just a reminder, the next game is going to be Saturday, May 31st, a doubleheader at 1 p.m. start against Valley View. Stay tuned and check out Lingolstown Gazette for all the news about Lingolstown Twilight Baseball. Good night.